There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our troubles. And he will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Hi, everybody. Thank you. God bless you for joining me today into sharing the word of God. I just wanted us to know that um, there's nobody out there that can be a better friend than Jesus Christ the Lord. So I want to share Jesus to you today. Um, And before we go ahead right into what God has had me share or is having me talk about today, I want us to pray, Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you for yet another time that you've given unto us to talk about you, to share your word, to share the gift and the good news of your word. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask that you would come right now and that you would speak your words through my mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So John chapter 14, if you have your Bibles or if you have uh, your phone, a device, just go along with me. I want to talk to you about peace. John 14, 1, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Now, this is Jesus talking. This is Jesus here, right? Jesus was having a conversation with his disciples and they were conversating. And now Jesus knew he was going and he was not going to be around for so long. So he wanted to make his disciples understand that he was not leaving them comfortless. He was not leaving them, you know, to just do things without anybody to lead them or help them. He was telling them he was going to go to a place, um, to his father's house where there are many mansions and he's going to prepare a place for, for them and for us, you know, for everybody who, who believes in Jesus, who, who have given their lives to Jesus, who are living a life that is pleasing to Jesus. Um, he's gone to prepare a place and anybody who, trust in him and follows him will definitely you know in spirit and in truth will definitely you know get to that place one day um and so jesus was speaking to his disciples when this comes up he he wanted to reassure them that there was nothing to be troubled about to be worried about and likewise he's doing the same today god wants you to know that whatever is going on in your life and whatever is going on in your mind and in it's going on around you, you don't have to be troubled because he's here. He's the Prince of Peace. Um, he's the only one that can give us peace um, when you trust in him, when you allow him into your heart, into your life, into your mess. <laughs> he can always give us peace. Um, anybody who is going to be a peacemaker or a peaceful person is somebody who is definitely connected to the Prince of Peace, Who um, and that is nobody else but Jesus Christ. And so um, he... He even says in John 14, 14, that if you should ask anything in my name, I will do it. So what is it that you are going through? What is it that you're wondering about? What is it that is happening in your life? Or what is it that you want that you need an answer, you know, about? Or you need an answer or a solution to? Jesus is saying, ask, ask, just as, as he said in Matthew 7, 7, ask. Um, laid before me, I will do it for you. I have the power to, you have to trust and believe in me. You don't have to sit there and sit in that problem in this situation and just, you know, and just whine and just, you know, be sorrowful and be in despair. You have to trust and believe that I am with you and I can do more than you can ever imagine. And so that is a word of God for someone even today. And he says in verse 18 that I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. So we know that Jesus Christ would never leave us comfortless. He gave us his Holy Spirit, like he said in the same chapter, that he gave us his Holy Spirit, um, who would be our teacher. You know, 
you need to make the Holy Spirit your best friend if you haven't. And I pray for everyone who has not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that the Lord will lay his hand upon you right now and that the Spirit of God will come upon you and you begin to speak in new songs to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Um, and so the Holy Spirit was, is going to teach us everything. It's going to lead us. It's going to be our director and our comforter. And um, Jesus says he, he he's going to come again. So we know that he's coming back. And that is a great hope, a great consolation. That is something that everybody should be looking forward to because it's going to happen. He's going to come back again because he's gone to prepare a place for us. And he's going to bring all his precious people along with him over there amen and so um finally i'm just gonna leave round up with this around you know conclude with verse 27 which says peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world give it give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid so jesus was telling them look I leave my peace with you, okay? You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be restless. You don't have to be comfortless. You don't have to be troubled. I've given you peace, um, not like the peace of the world, because the peace of the world is not, it's not truly peace, okay? A lot of a lot of people are are leaving their lives thinking that um, they're they have everything worked out fine. Nothing is ever gonna happen to them, but they don't know the real peace. Because it's only God, only Jesus that gives us true peace. The peace of the world is a peace that blinds. You know, they make you feel like you're fine. You have everything going on for you. You're leaving all right. Nothing can happen to you. You are rich. You have money. You have everything. But suddenly it comes and darkness comes and just wipes up everything and just snatches that you know feigned peace because it's not real peace you know um it's not real it's not true peace the true peace jesus alone can give and so for those people who are put their trust in their wealth and their substance in their talents in their positions and whatever possessions and in their titles and in their position and in, in other people um they need to realize that that the only true peace that a person can have is a peace that Jesus Christ alone can give. Amen. Um, a lot of people leave their lives the way they want. Um, and, and it looks like they're fine and they have peace and they're settled. But what happens is that a day is coming and they're going to have to answer for all the things they've done that is not according to God's will. And, and suddenly they're going to be wiped off. They're going to be be wiped out forever into eternal darkness. And that is not going to be our portion in Jesus' name. And so um, Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And so this is the word of God for you today to have faith in God and not be troubled and accept the peace of God that he alone can give. And he can give you peace from every restless situation and comfortless situation in your lives. Um, is there sickness in your body? He can give you healing. He can give you peace from that situation. Um, he can make you um, comfort, comforted, and um, he can bring you into his comfort. Amen. And so be at peace. Whatever happens in your life, know that Jesus is right there with you. And um, he will always, always come through for you. Amen. So God bless you. Um, the peace of God be upon you and your family and all that you have in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.